Hello, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Alessandro for DS Domination, and uh, today we're going to shoot a little video here, real quick, on how to incorporate your Market Extreme with your domain website and with the um, campaigns, the uh, Aweber campaigns that you've created. Um, this video is specifically for those who are affiliates in DS Domination and for those who have purchased Market Extreme. If you are not an affiliate or you have not purchased Market Extreme, this will not make sense to you. So you need to get with the person that um, you're upline or get into your back office and you will need to purchase Market Extreme in order to take full advantage of this. Outside of Market Extreme, I do not know how to link um, campaigns with Aweber or anything like that. So um, just a little disclaimer real quick before we get started. Um, first things first here, um, what you need to do is uh, obviously you get into your back office and at this point what you have done or at least should have done is you should have um, uh, registered a domain name for your business. Um, my domain name is uh, dropshipcashcow.com and the reason why you want to register a domain name is because it's a little bit easier to give out your domain name or your web link to somebody who a, a potential prospect then they have to spell out or write out your affiliate link, which if you notice your affiliate link has a lot of characters in it and a lot of uppercase, lowercase and whatnot. And so, you know, you can make a mistake and, and then end up having the wrong link to the person. So um, you always want to register a domain name. You can go to GoDaddy, HostGator. You can go to any one of those websites. You can register a domain name. I would highly recommend that you register something that is simple, easy to spell, easy to pronounce over the phone. Um, because if you get into too difficult of a name, um, it can cause some problems and people will be asking you, how do you spell that and, and whatnot. And you just want to avoid that as much as possible. Um, you cannot have, and I just found this out the other day, you cannot have um, the name eBay or Amazon or any other company name in your domain. Um, that is trade law. There's some trade copyright uh, infringement, stuff like that. So you want to avoid that. So it has to be unique. Um, so like I said, we did dropshipcashcal.com. It's very easy to pronounce, very easy to say over the phone. Um, somebody can, can spell it out fairly easily. Um, and so that's what we did. Okay, so after you set up your domain name, what you want to do is you want to go to your back office and you want to go to Extreme. Uh, you want to go Market Extreme Pack. You want to go to Training. Okay, and in your training here, you're going to see some videos, and these videos are videos that Kevin has put together, and you need to watch these videos. You need to watch the intro video, okay, and then from that point on, depending on what your uh, autoresponder is, if you have uh, Get Response or Aweber, um, we have Aweber. Um, if you need that link to Aweber um, to sign up, you can um, you can email me or send me a message or send my wife Kenya a message. Um, if you're on our team, we can get you that, that link fairly quickly. And uh, the Aweber, I believe, it's free for like the first 30 days or 40 days or something like that. And then I think uh, they charge like $40 or something like that. And so what you'll want to do is you'll want to watch this Aweber tutorial by, that Kevin does. you want to watch the entire thing. And the link that he's referring to in the video is right here at the bottom. Okay, and it doesn't make any sense to you right now, but when you watch the video, it will make a lot of sense. And so you want to watch this video, you want to do exactly, exactly what Kevin tells you to do. If you don't understand, rewind the video and watch it again. I had to watch it four times before I was able to fully understand what he was doing. And not to say that Kevin was explaining it wrong, it's just for me it takes me a little bit more time to go over things. And as I have it playing, I'm doing it. And so it just makes it a little bit easier for me. So don't think you watch it one time and then just try to wing it definitely want to go back and make sure you're doing everything to exact detail and so with that being said here's the get response tutorial I don't have get response so I couldn't help you with that um, and so anyways that's uh, with that and so that's your first things first is you want to do that um, once you do that once you have set this up then you're gonna to go to market extreme and um, you're gonna have your list already set up so you're gonna have your list name and Aweber already set up and you already have copied that and pasted it to a document you're gonna to go to activate lead gen okay and when you go to activate lead gen um, what you're gonna see is a screen very similar to this right here okay first things first you wanna make sure your affiliate name is in the first box okay 
depending on what you're using, whether it's AWeb or Git Response, you want to make sure that is clicked. And then here are our floating, here are our templates for our squeeze page. A uh, squeeze page, basically what that is in a nutshell, it's a page where people can go to that are going to be um, encouraged to, to fill out their name and their email address. They fill out their name and email address, and that information goes to your AWeber list. This is how you build the list in network marketing, is you have to capture that information. Okay, So with that being said, you're going to pick whichever uh, squeeze page that you want, and you can pick from any one of these here below. I hear that the floating logo is getting the best conversion, so um, that's pretty good. You might want to try with that one. Okay, so in AWeber or uh, Get Response, like Kevin mentioned in his previous video, you formed a list. That list name goes right here in the first box. Okay, so for us, that list name is DSD Add Funnel, Ads Funnel. That's our form ID. That's the name of a list that we have in uh, in AWeber. And so I take that and I'm going to put that right here. Okay, now. The second one here, the redirect URL, okay? By default, when your client or your prospect clicks on your web link, your domain name, dropshipcashcow.com or whatever it may be, it's going to take them to one of these squeeze pages. At the squeeze page, then they're going to fill in their name and their email address, okay? After they fill that out, it's going to have show video. It's going to, by default, take them to your sales video that's linked to your user ID. If that's the case and that's what you want, you don't put anything in this redirect URL. Absolutely nothing. You leave this blank and it's going to go straight to your sales page. And at that moment, they'll go to your sales page, they'll see the video with Roger dancing with his daughter, they'll see the Ferrari, all that stuff. And then at the very end, um, it'll have the add to cart and that's where they'll sign up and they'll sign up under your link. Okay. The comment box, you can put this to um, classify your uh, your campaign. So if you're doing postcards, you know, you're going to put postcards in there. Um, you know, postcards, November, you know, and that helps keep track of the campaign and what you're using it for. Or this could be Craigslist ad. Um, you know, you could put Craigslist ad and then whatever city you're doing it in um, and you can even put the date if you want just to help keep track of what that campaign is doing and then once you do that um, you're gonna go ahead and just go create lead generator and once you hit create lead generator down here at the bottom you're going to get um, a, you're gonna get a campaign code so now I've already created if you see here I've created nine campaigns okay this is the last campaign we created and um, with that being said, um, we've uh, had some good success. But anyway, so looking at this here, um, what's going to generate is this red HTTP URL here. Okay, and with that HTTP URL, um, you are going to be able to um, take that link. Okay, that's your link. So if you were to copy that and paste that into your web browser, it would take you to um, your squeeze page and then from there it would take you to your sales video okay and you can test that yourself you can copy and test that yourself okay so with that being said we have all that done as soon as you get this link right here once you hit create lead generator and you get this link down here you want to take that link and you want to tag it to your domain name so in order to do that you go to whoever hosts your domain name Okay, Dropship Cash Cow, we hosted over there at GoDaddy. So what I did was I copied this, and I copied it, and I went to my GoDaddy account, and I went under my GoDaddy account for my domain name, and I went to um, forward, um, uh, where it says forward and masking. I went ahead and I put that uh, link in there. Now, I'm not going to go into that because I know a lot of people have GoDaddy, some people have HostGator, some people have other uh, domains, uh, people that are hosting their domains. So what I would encourage you to do, if you're doing this for the first time, is copy this link right here, call your host, whoever hosts your website or hosts your domain name, and tell them exactly what you want to do. I want to forward um, a link to my domain name, and they will walk you through it. 
okay you call up the, you call them up I called first thing I did I called up GoDaddy I said here's what I'm doing I have a link to a squeeze page and I want to have it forwarded um, I want to have my domain forward to this link and they will walk you through it it's basically you're just forwarding your domain name is what you're doing they'll walk you through on the computer and that's probably going to be the easiest fastest way to do it I, I could not sit here and explain it to you or go over it with you because there's so many different uh, web website uh, providers and, and host uh, you know domain host and I don't want to go through all that I think I just confuse people so take this link and you copy that in and you're going to forward your domain to that link okay and so what's basically going to happen at this moment is when they type in your domain so I'm going to do it here cashcal.com ultimately they go to your squeeze page okay all right and so when they go to your squeeze page you know they get to the scoop and from that point on, you know, they're going to type in their name, email address, and it's going to take them to the video. And that's basically what, uh, what they do at that point. So you want to um, set that up. That'll be the best way to set it up for you. And um, hopefully this video you found to be pretty uh, informative. Um, watch this video a couple times. I think I explained most of the information here pretty detailed. So hopefully that works for you guys, and then we'll go from there. Thank you very much, and you guys have a great day.